All righty. While you grab a seat, we'll just go through a few things. My name's Clay. At Clay UT, I'll be your host for the night. If you've got something silly to say, say to me. Um, I'd like to thank all our sponsors. So we've got a few of them. We have Glass Cyber, who's over there, um, New Tech People, Redback Solutions, and of course, Blast Furnace and Safi on the stream. So, Glass Cyber, get up, tell us about yourself. Yeah. Hello. Um, hopefully, none of you have been dealing with uh, this annoying little bug recently. And if you have, I am the price pointer. None of us are Java shops here, right? <laughs> Great, a smile. So you can, that's why you can come out and not stay in the office. <laughs> um, so I run Glass Cyber Security. It's a Newcastle security firm. We're all about just trying to help people improve their apps. So web application security, DevSecOps, cloud architecture assessments. And if you just need general consulting or advice, just hit me up. Hello at Glass Cyber. So, yeah. yeah. So just hit him up. You can find him on Newey Slack and around a whole bunch of other places. So next up, we've got Newy Tech people. They can't be here tonight, but they asked me to say, if you're not talking to Newy Tech people, are you actually even looking for candidates or a job? <laughs> They're pretty much the go-to place in Newcastle for anything to do with hiring. So Redback Solutions have kindly offered us this space for free. We're not paying to be here. We're not paying for the bit of Wi-Fi we have. There is Wi-Fi out there. You can use it to tweet about what's going on. Do not Google the answers, please. And we have Blast Furnace. So we've got Alwyn here streaming. We've got Cam over there. You can see the big fiery shirts. And go and have to chat to them about coding comps and uh, sort of other talks, more hands-on workshops next year. They've been fantastic. we actually keeping up the meetup thing during this crazy time. Um, cool. So how tonight's going to go? We're going to have four rounds. There's prizes for every round, so if halfway through you want to leave, that's fine. If halfway through you want to change teams, that's also fine. Please don't go Googling the answers. The questions are all set up so you can have a chance to chat amongst yourself, negotiate about what the correct answer might be. But if you Google, they'll all be pretty damn easy. It is just for fun, though. There's no shoot stations online. The prizes are coffee vouchers for local Newcastle cafes. So it's nothing that you probably can't afford yourself. So no need to fight about anything. If I do get an answer wrong, let me know. And if there is a tie, we're going to use Wheel of Names, wheelofnames.com, type your team name in, one will get randomly or sit at randomly picked out, and that'll be the winner. So we have bathrooms out there, as Johnny mentioned before. We have hand sanitizer over there. We have emergency exit out the front. We have more hand sanitizer over there. There's... <laughs> Some food here, but we are having a bit of a pizza crisis. So we are taking suggestions for how we might cater a meet up without pizza, given that Domino's apparently, at least the Newcastle shop, is down or offline or something, and Pizza Hut doesn't deliver to here, neither does crust. So <laughs> I'm yeah, not really all that sure what to do about that, but we'll work something out. Is that a trivia question? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, if they're just up the road, we can always run off and pick them up, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's expected. All right. Cool. Yep. Yeah. We'll um, get through round one, then I'll give them a call or put an order in. Fantastic. I knew if I asked, there'd be answers. So again, I want you to get involved. This night is all about coming together, having fun as a community. So. Reach out, you can find me on, on at ClayUT, you can find Newcastle Coders Group at NCGAU, you could use the hashtag Newey Trivia with three W's, mind you, and of course, you can find us on the Newey Slack. Again, I'm keen to hear if I have any answers wrong, because you never know. And I'd like you all to adopt the Pac-Man rule. We're in a weird time. COVID is crazy. COVID is super crazy this week. And... Just as you're standing around talking, make sure there's space for someone to come and join your circle. Lots of us here don't know each other. There's a lot of faces I don't recognize, and I think that's fantastic. So come have a chat to me, have a chat to anyone. There are plenty of drinks over there, alcoholic, non-alcoholic, water, all there. Again, a bit of food. Chat to people, meet someone new, say hi. 
you have to join our team to get it through. Yeah, Stuart, Stuart will fight you. <laughs> and he's a biker, so he knows what he's doing. <laughs> All right, so if everybody's ready and you've got teams sorted out, everyone's got a pen of some description. If not, I have thousands of them. And pick a team name. It's your first challenge. Find something that's going to make me laugh, if you can, and write on the top of your bit of paper there so I know how to come back to you in the end. You know, it doesn't have to be funny, but I will be happier if it is. <laughs> you don't. We lost a little bit off one of the USB things up. Do you have a string link for this? Hmm? Is there a you got the string going, don't you? Is yeah, there a, a link for it? I'll tweet it out. I'll put it in a put it in events in um you, you in drop? Sweet. That makes it easy. It's the wrong slide. Awesome. How's your sword training going with Ian off with his knees out? Sorry? How's your sword training going? Are you still <laughs> you, you go? Wow. Yeah, I ran into you at I was doing my black rock rating for karate. So, I didn't see you at the party. I don't think I was invited to the barbecue if there was one. There, there was one. Oh, maybe yeah. you just didn't hear. Yeah, possibly. It's... Oh, yeah, you know, like last sessions this week. Yes, so you're still going with... Is Ian still out? He said his knee's out. Yep. Yeah. So be with Josh. All right. Josh is his son? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know next time. Like, like uh, I'm surprised you didn't hear if everyone was there. Like, in the oh, yeah. Look, I've, I miss out on a lot of things. I don't, <laughs> don't pay attention. I'll tell you next time. Yeah, yeah. Let me know. But, yeah, no. it's, it's Clute. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. K L E U T at anywhere I can get a hold of the username. And if I can't, I don't go there. I'll let you know next time. Like, we had, a, we had an end of your barbecue. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, I've got, I think it's easy just to, you know, I'm there and then I'm gone and what happens. Uh, yeah, I'll just tweet that out. I'll tweet it out a bit more as I go on. But. All right, that's enough time. You've got a name of something, some sort, even if it's just something's better than nothing. All right, so question one. Should be an easy one, get you warmed up. Who was the first programmer? Yeah, this one's not multiple choice. <laughs> there are multiple choice questions, but this just isn't one of them. Who was the first programmer? No, that, that's me. <laughs> That'd be too easy. You're, you're sorry, a little bit harder than that.
<laughs> All right. So we've got an answer for that one down. Yep, yep. I trust you do. So time for question two. In JavaScript, what does this equate to? I'll give you a little bit longer for this one. It's not quite as easy. <laughs> TypeScript won't help you here, Cole. This is this is perfectly valid TypeScript, JavaScript, whatever you want. It's just stupid. That's all. <laughs> Undefined certainly could be the answer. I'm not telling you that it is or it isn't. <laughs> If you run out of space after crossing it out too many times, I do have more answer sheets I can give you. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you've had three minutes for that one. It's longer than I was going to give you, but I'll listen to you all. So, scroll down and answer. Question's going away forever. All right, question three. When we talk about CVEs, what does C.V.E actually stand for? Now, if you run a company called Galar Cyber and you don't get this correct, <laughs> there's going to be issues, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly why the question's in there. So I thought, I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's why I thought it was a good question. <laughs> no Bing, no Google. <laughs>
All right, how are we going? Good, good, ready for the next one? Yeah. Well, still trying to guess it. Three letters. It's a contraction, I'll tell you that much. So, so there's three words you're after. All right, let's go on to question four. All right, so Quibi's back. Quibi's back in rust form. Isn't it in the uh, not, not official, I don't think. And Microsoft's got a bit of a weird relationship with Clippy. But Clippy's part of the Rust programming language. You know that? In the Rust programming language, what does Clippy do? Does it provide hints for autocomplete? Does it provide auto format, code adjusting, spaces, and indentation? Does it provide linting and correctness? Or is just Clippy brilliant and Clippy will never rust? Clippy has a place in our hearts. We love Clippy. He's so pretty. What do you think? Which one of those got a one in four chance of getting it right? All right, multiple choice question. Should be able to get that one relatively fast. We'll give you a minute and a half. All right, so next. How hard is the next question? What are the three stages of a TCP handshake? There's three of them. You gotta get them all right. Something, something, and something else. Three of them. But, but that's why it's a hard question because you should know this. Yeah. But do you? I I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is the reason I get to Google the answers ahead of time? So then I know them. <laughs> yeah. That's how this whole thing started, right? It was just questions that I didn't know the answers to, and I thought that'd be fun. How do I make a talk out of that? Well, I guess I was asked a lot of questions, right? Thank <laughs> you. 
Good. Working on answer. Nearly got an answer. All right, that's the three allotted minutes. How are we going? Ready to hear the next one? All right. You know that, you know that one? Yeah. So what is Snick, 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 Snick? They're not sponsoring. I don't know sponsors, but yeah. what does SNCC stand for? Is it not actually an acronym? Is it Simple Neat YAML Kluge? Is it So Now You Know? Is it the Secretariat for that? Is it Secure Now Your Knowledge? So we're looking for this. This dog here, it's a security product. Most of us have seen it around. Is that an acronym? But do we know what it is? Did you go to the Snake Christmas party last night? No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm not really very involved with Snake. Yeah, I I consume it in the same way Young May does. Yeah, yeah. You, you have it in your ID, and it tells you you should update your packages. Well, no, have it, have it in our bill pipeline, and then somebody else says you've got a vulnerability ticket. You have 14 days to action it. Go. Yeah. yeah. But no, I don't use it. I don't actually know. It's like I met developer Steve a few times, and that's as close as I am to them. Developer Steve. Yeah, yeah. but I met him back when he worked for something a long time ago. I think recently, like maybe four or five months ago, moved to um, Sneak, actually. Yeah, yeah, he was at Telstra before that, I think, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he was from there. I think he went to the States for development at Rail. Yeah, I thought you were talking about Facebook. Maybe. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know the answer, so I think I don't know the answer. Really? You, you don't know the answer? Yeah. I thought you would. I can tell you the name of the dog. I didn't know the dog has a name. What's yeah. the name of the dog? Yeah. Hmm? The name of the sneak dog is Patch. 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 Ah, yeah. Why not? It's a patching application. Very good. Very good. That's very clever of them. Yeah. But when I come around to the answer slide for this one, I do have a link to where they state on their website the actual answer to this question because I don't think they would believe me. I didn't believe me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Make your guesses. Got a one in five chance, 20%. All right. All right. Cool. So moving on. Question seven. Question seven is write out the Agile Manifesto. Everyone uses Agile, don't you? You all know the Agile Manifesto? 
You all know it off the top of your head? Here, I'll help you. <laughs> I think I'm probably the only person around who can write that off the top of my head. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so I have given you a bit of a hand because for most people that aren't Jono, it's a little bit too hard. So, of course, if Jono has a single spelling mistake, a single error, I'll mark him down. The rest of you might get a bit of space. I'd write out the whole thing if I was you. So it'll make it easier for me to mark it. And if it's hard for me to mark, I might, might, might mark you down. <laughs> oh, you got five years. <laughs> you need to write one word. <laughs> we are uncovering better ways of. Are the other words like. No. <laughs> Yeah, definitely not. They don't even indicate number of words. They are, you know, you may have more than one word here, or here, there. Okay. Question <laughs> seven. <laughs> <laughs> Surely this came up one trivia, like. I, I put this in every trivia I've done. <laughs> no. <laughs> the gaps are neither the correct number of letters nor are the gaps the correct number of words. Next year, there could be multiple words in the gaps. In fact, I can guarantee you that there are multiple words in some of those gaps. Okay, nice <laughs> one. Alrighty. So, is it Mass and Marjorie off the road here? Yeah, cool. Alright, Good wish, Fizzes.
Oh, but you like you got to get the get the zucchini one. Or... <laughs> yeah. Cool. Oh, while well, I give people time to fill this one out, I might just call them. You still going? I'm trying to work out whether I should go on to the next slide or whether I should call the pizza shop. <laughs> well, John is saying it. You've lost this round. <laughs> Okay, well, I've had time to order pizza, so you've had time to write out the Agile Manifesto. All right. And I hope you all got it right. I will be judging you. All right, so question eight. We're back to multiple choice now, so that's going to make it easy for you. Which of these is not, not a valid Fortran extension? .f, .f90, .for, or .frt? I mean, it should have a dot. They should all have dots. You've got to imagine the dot. Pretend you don't sleep that well. There's this spots in front of your eyes. <laughs> I 
All right, that's nearly two minutes. That's enough time for you. So, next question nine. This is the second last question this round. Nearly done. So, if you do a git merge, and you don't just merge two branches together, you merge more than two branches together, so three, four, five, seventeen, what would you call that? A what merge? <laughs> yeah. You're right. Mistake and hard are not the correct answers. <laughs> Hmm? Pardon? Is it two separate merges or all That's all at the same time. So you can, in Git, you can merge three or more branches together. <laughs> a future revert. <laughs> a very difficult revert. <laughs> all of these things are true, but not the right name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I will add that I have never done this. I just think it's a fantastic piece of trivia. Many things coming together, many branches. Uh, was a marriage. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are doing marriage wrong. <laughs> 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 I'm hearing that on a podcast. It's like that that's gonna trivia. <laughs> I don't think you can do a get flame after that, can you? It's just going to be a mess. Oh, I will be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd pay that. <laughs> Yeah, so I think that's what I was thinking. 
<laughs> Things come together, merge. All right. I think if you haven't got it by now, maybe you're just not going to get it. Put something down, make a guess. Something, lots of things coming together, like this. Oh. All right, the last question in round one. It's for the designers. I hope there's some people who've got some sort of design now out there. What does CMYK stand for? All right, I'm going to go and talk to the pizza shop while you answer that question. Howdy. Yeah. 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 Four letters. We going? How are we going? Got an answer? <laughs> I apparently have made this round harder than I thought I had. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I don't know. My goal is always seventy-five percent correct. Yeah, no, no, you you will learn things. That's the seventy-five percent. But I want people to enjoy themselves as well. <laughs> All right. Pardon? It depends on how many people get it wrong. Depends on how many people get it wrong. Yeah, if everyone gets it wrong, then I guess I've got to find something to score you on. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? If everyone gets a question wrong and I laugh at one of your answers, then I, get, I don't see why I can't give you half a point. <laughs> <laughs> but it's only going to work so much, so we're out of laughs, right? So you got to work out when to use it. When's your optimal time? <laughs> cool. All right. So we've got an hour until the next um, until the pizza is going to be ready. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to the start. I'm going to give you a chance at all the questions again, just to make sure you can you've seen them all. You can remember them. Do this quickly. No, no. The answers come later. Things come after the scoring. So the first question was, who was the first programmer? Then we asked what this snippet of JavaScript worked out to be, because we all know JavaScript is a stupid language. TypeScript makes it a little bit better, but still doesn't fix this. Then we asked you what a CVE was, three-letter word, a three-letter acronym. We asked you what part of Rust was Cliffy. Maybe four options. Five options even. Then asked you what the three stages of a TCP handshake were. Pardon? No, no, no. I thought, I thought you were yelling out at me. Oh, my gosh, did I miss something? <laughs> All right. We asked you what SNCC stands for. Sneak, sneak. It's pronounced sneak, I'm sure. And then we asked you about the Agile Manifesto. Yeah. So this is one of my pet questions. So I, if you're going to be funny, now's the time. <laughs> and we don't know which one of these is not a Fortran ex extension. And we're assuming this has a dot right there. You, can, you can't see. It's just it's in the side of the F. My handwriting is not fantastic. And we want to know what a Git merge with more than two branches is called. I feel like a lot of you are going to learn about this. And while I quite like the answer, it's called a Git fucked. I, <laughs> I don't think that's correct. <laughs> and finally, what does CMYK stand for? 
All right, so that's it. I'll grab all your answers, bring them back. I'll put some numbers down, then we'll get into round two. So come finish off all this. I don't want to take any of this home with me. Grab more drinks. I don't want to take those home with me either. The pizza shop tells me pizzas will be ready up the road at 8.45, so I'll need to run up and grab those. So I'm hoping we can do that in the next round, the next gap. So we'll get round two done before then. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All the managers have to ask and rate how they who check in with their occasion.
when I go back to my last bit, Not make any difference, so. of white men it was actually a woman. And many of the programs of history have done amazing things for being women. Did any teams get to that? Yep. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Alright. So, the second one, and my animation is terrible. Oh, it's 3-0. I did like that. 
Yeah. Well, I so I started with, you know, I started with, like, that's the, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, so, so what else I could find, I'm going to pay out the, like, like, so, I don't know if I could find, I'm going to find it. Yeah, that's it, that's part of the reason I put it there, but everyone's going to write down, like, I'm going to say, like, yes, oh, not every time. Yeah. Cool. Question five, what does the view stand for? As our Googling friends know, it's common vulnerabilities and exposures. So a lot of people got two of those right, vulnerabilities, but the exposures have been a different problem. Yeah. Which is good, no one's exposing themselves. Love it. <laughs> keep your pants on. I should keep my microphone on. <laughs> All right, question four. What is, what is Clicky in Rust? It provides linting and correctness. All right, and I've done a terrible job of my animations yet again. So, the sin, synac, and ac are the three stages of TCP handshake. All right, you can find the answer to this question here. How do you pronounce sneak? And it's so now you know. This is something that comes up if you Google what does SNCC stands for. So it was to catch anyone who was Googling out. It was there. Um, and the other ones just sort of seemed to fit. And now we know that this is Patches. Patches the dog. Thank you, Cole. <laughs> All right. Agile Manifesto. We are uncovering better ways of working by developing software, by doing it, and helping others do it. Through this, we have come to value working software, uh, individual interactions over processes and tools, working software over comprehensive documentation, customer collaboration over contract negotiation, responding to change over following a plan. That is why there is value on the items on the left, we value the items on the, items on the right, we value the items on the left more. Yeah. I have, I have a very special place in my heart for this. Remember this, if we do trivia next year, this question will be in there. It's in there every year. Every year, no one gets it right. <laughs> do better. Do better. Does that sound like people care about it? All right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, it was the dot. Definitely wasn't the fact that that is not a Fortran extension. Yeah, so dot .frt, not actually for Fortran. Question nine, what does a git merge with more than two branches called? No one got this right. Yes, it's called octopus merge. Yeah. Octopus merge. That's meant to be animated, but apparently it's not. Yes, I was trying to get, I was trying to get, yeah. I was, I was trying to give it to you all with the arms, merging things together. I could see no one was getting it right. <laughs> <laughs> and CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Because black starts with a K now. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, only one who got that right. And our winner of the very highly valued coffee vouchers for sort of places around Newcastle is Null Slice. Yeah. Yeah, so there's um, at least six vouchers in there, so you can spread it out between yourselves. Yeah, it's the idea. One coffee each. I want you to go out, spend money in the Newcastle community, keep the cafes alive at this time where everything is going to poop. Uh, does he have a new slack? <laughs> you can use the hashtag Holy War channel. <laughs> I'll respond with do better. <laughs> all right, cool. So grab yourself a drink, grab some more of this food. I want all that gone. At 8.45, I will work out how the hell I'm getting up the road to, buy, to get the pizzas. Um, but they'll be ready at 8.45, so we will try and get another round in before then. So, round two will be coming up very shortly. Grab a drink, take a break, have a breather.
Uh, pizza's going to be 8.45, so I want to get through at least two rounds before then. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah, so we'll try and get through the rounds relatively quickly because we are getting on in time. And, yeah, I've got to get up and go to work in the morning. I'm not the CTO of a company. I can't just call in sick. <laughs> All right. Just, just make a start. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could call it sick. <laughs> oh, it's um suspension on oh. Belmont Street. Where is that? Suspension. suspension. Belmont Street. Near the, near the train station. Really good coffee. Really good food. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully everywhere else has names on it. If you have problems with the Happy Wombat, let me know. <laughs> Happy Wombat were fantastic though. So I went around to a whole bunch of places. Some were like, no, we don't do that. I went to Bank Corner, they're like, no. Nah. Really? Go away. Yeah. 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 But we don't do anything less than 10, 10 coffees in a go. Go away. Yeah. I was like, well, didn't even try and help. Went, went to the Happy Wombat. They're like, like they were polite about it. They weren't, they weren't rude. They were nice. Uh, we didn't have one back, like, oh, we don't know how to do that. Rifled through their drawers, <laughs> found something like, this is this is going to be a voucher now. <laughs> Scribble stuff out, wrote stuff on it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's one in there. It's just, it's a voucher for something else. They're like, okay, we're going to scribble that bit out. We're going to write five dollars on here, stamp it. This is a voucher now. Go. <laughs> yeah, it was really just, they were great. Other places were really good, but yeah, I was a bit disappointed in Bank Corner. It sounds like it would have taken a long time going to lots of I went to a few places. It took me a couple of hours on a weekend. Just got to jump on the bike and ride around Newcastle. But yeah, there's been plenty of work put into all this stuff. Making questions that are too hard to answer. Although you, you got 50%, great job. <laughs> yeah. It's a pass. Failure. Maybe it depends on. Well, it's it's a winning mark, that's for sure. So, how are you, young man? <laughs> like I waved and then ran off. Yeah, we're doing so good. You're doing so good. You're um, you doing innovation week this week? No. No. Oh, this team. I was like, what? What? She has another team. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what. Yeah. I'm in foundational collab now. We're doing innovation week for foundational collab. Yeah. I'm not sure what other teams are doing or what's going on. Did you do anything for Shippet? Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> We did. I, I did it. How did the pizza go? Uh, we already ate 45. Oh, we're getting it at 45. Yeah, we've got to go off and get it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Did I? What do these guys do? Yeah. Something or other sourdough? <laughs> she works on Jira. Yeah. She's got a... You worked for Atlassian. <laughs> <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't work on Jira. She doesn't work for Atlassian. And, and we don't Although, we don't use like uh, we don't we don't use that job. Do you? Waterfall. Waterfall. Yeah, we just do waterfall. That's what's <laughs> driving and lasting. So yeah. all these questions are pulled off you at Atlassian. No, I was I was hoping that I was going to do it for Atlassian, but it didn't it didn't happen. So, I was hoping we are going to do it. Have you done recently? Oh. None, ever. It's just like a terrible idea. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> I don't see how you can unwind that, how anyone else can understand that. <laughs> but it's a, I actually go get ob octopus merge. I think, you, I think you'd... Three branches. Yeah, I think you'd do git merge, branch, face, branch, face, branch. I, I, don't actually, I haven't actually done it. That's my assumption. Yeah, you gotta work tomorrow. <laughs> Be like, we're gonna do an octopus merge. And, 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 and <laughs> and suddenly, suddenly, Jira is all one project. <laughs> Every thing is together. You laugh. There is talk about trying to make all the front ends and one somehow, monorepo. Somehow an there, there's already a big monorepo there. But the front end, I'm sure you've heard of it. All right, let's get into this next round so we can get through it and then get. Answers done and then get pizza.
Okay, I cannot promise this round is easier. I did come up with the questions. When I see them, I will remember them, but I don't know what's in here. Yeah. You got more than zero last time. We did. We got a very interesting number for someone who doesn't remember it. All right, so round two, question one. At this stage, you know more about it than I do because you know whether it's a multiple choice question or not. So let's find out where it is. What does TOML stand for? Any of you have used Cloudflare workers recently will have configured your app with TOML, T-O-M-L. It's multiple choice, so that's good. It could be Tom's obvious minimal language. It could be traceable, observable markup language. It could be TOML over markup language, be one of those recursive acronyms that people think are so clever. Or it could be Trevor's onerous modeling language. TOML, the thing you use to configure a Cloudflare worker. What is it? No, no, you use JavaScript to write the Cloudflare worker. So you're going to push it up. Use a language called TOML. Hmm? No, no. Nib uses the Terraform. <laughs> Sean Wisely wrote that. Put that together. Yeah. So four chances. This is an entirely guessable one. You have a twenty-five percent chance of getting this right if you have no idea. I'll give you another minute to discuss, try and work it out. <laughs> oh. afraid to scribble it down. If you can't remember it, you can always come back and try and answer it later. I'm going to give you plenty of quick time for the next question. It's a long one. All right. Cool. So on to question two. Now, see it's big already? Big. So I'm going to give you a bit of time to answer this. In CSS, there are 14 possible things starting with an at. How many can you get right? I'll give you the first letter of each one. There are 14 of these things. That's according to MDN. Now, you don't have to get it in this order. Well, I think I did put the, number, the letters down on the sheet there, didn't I? Maybe I didn't. Yeah, give it a go. I'll give you the first letter of each of them. I'll give you at least another 10 minutes to try and guess all those. I'm not going to mark them all as one big block, don't worry.
Yeah, so the dashes are important. That's two words. Something dash something, something dash something, something dash something, something dash something something. So three words in that top one up there. How are you going? I think you got got them all. Got two. Five's not bad. I don't know if I would have got five. I don't know if I would have got five. How about over here? Dom Summit, leader of the JavaScript meetup, front end extraordinaire. <laughs> you haven't written Go yet. Yeah. Something about engineering manager. I don't know. All right. Order does not matter. Do not care about order. All I care about is whether you get the words right. I wish I should do around. Someone else should do around, and you have to participate. Oh no, no. See, you I, get them all right. see I like not losing. <laughs> <laughs> the reason that I do the do the asking of the questions is there's no way I'll get a lead. Definitely not this one. No. I have no idea. That's the same thing. I'm not sure how I feel about you if you did get all 14 times. No. So, yeah, this um, came up because there's a podcast to listen to, and every now and then they do a segment they call Stumped, which is basically they just go and ask each other stupid questions like this, and they both like run front end um, trading platforms. All oh, right. And they didn't, they, they didn't get 14. <laughs> well, it's a. When I did it, I'll, I'll admit to you, I don't know, really? Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can type that in, that's, that's valid CSS? All right. But I also figure with 14, some people get some right, some won't get others, and it'll just be a differentiator. And this is a short round as a result. So it's quite... No, 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 it's not a... Yeah, it goes on to the next page. I think there's eight questions in this round. All right. Now you know Mudbath. You're front end agency, basically. You're front end. Hey, you're back end dev. <laughs> <laughs> Architect guy who knows nothing about front end. Yeah, don't worry. I was saying there's no way I would get all these right. Not not a chance in the world. But some of you will get some right, some of you will get some wrong, and we'll use it to work out the difference. Pardon? What? No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what the dash is for. Camplify. Yeah. Camplify dash Jonathan. Camplify dash somebody else works there. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll give you all a few more minutes to try and guess them, unless you all tell me that you're done, in which case I'll keep going. As soon as I find my clicker. Oh, oh. 
Oh. Hello. Hello, Winston. Alrighty. You've come to save the day, have you? Get these guys back on track. Hello. Hello. Oh, yes, you. Oh, oh. There's so many people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you all win because everybody gets free beer. Who's that? It's got to see young May. <laughs> no, there's no one up there. Let's <laughs> try and work out where the um, where the meat is. <laughs> Yeah, what do you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, you got meat, you got meat. <laughs> you saw other dogs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, since we've got some uh, switch hitters here, Winston's going to help us answer the next question. All right, so question four, question three, I haven't even got to four yet. Hired.com is a website that if you listen to a podcast, you will have heard of it before. It goes on and on, always hired, hired, hired. Get a job through hired, I think. But it used to be known as something else. What did it used to be known as? Was it developer jobs, developer auction, vetery, or hire me? None of you are really going to know this, so just have a guess. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm not going to give you long because I, I know none of you are actually going to know the answer. Oh, I was going to give you longer than that, though. Oh. Yeah. Can you know 15 seconds? Then we'll get through. Yeah, none of them were good. <laughs> well, actually, better Yeah, maybe. All right. Question four. I do a better question this time. What does this Ruby code do? All right, Rubyists. Who knows Ruby? Come on, someone here has done Ruby in some part of their past life. I know someone has done Ruby here. <laughs> so it's. Open friend sixty five dot dot nine zero bracket close friend dot two underscore a dot each space do pipe a spice uh, pipe space puts space a dot char space end. This is a little Ruby snippet. It'll do something, but it'll write out to your console. What's it gonna do? Yeah. Clarifying question, yeah, yeah. Do we just write down the outputs? Or? Yeah, yeah, write down the outputs or use your use words to describe what the outputs would be or anything as long as I can get that you know what the answer is will be good enough.
Yeah, so close enough is good enough. Write down, you can use your words to say, it will do a thing that does this. It'll you know, take me to the moon and back. Whatever it is. Or you can write down the literal output. As long as I know what you're trying to get at, it's good enough. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Come on, Jack. You should remember. You should remember Ruby. You looked at some core code. Hmm? Yeah, right. policy finder. Yeah. So you, you've been writing Ruby recently. You know exactly what this does. Ruby has incredibly expressive syntax, I find. You can do, you can write out things that really look like English in it. Hmm. Yeah, there are things in Ruby that I like and things that I don't. I like being able to do like things at the end of the line. Yeah. So, and I like the fact they've got an opposite to if, so you can do unless, unless this is true to this, makes it more expressive. I don't like that you can let out. Yeah, because yeah, it's not, you have to do a to list before link queue actually resolves. It's a design feature. It's a feature of the language. It's fe no, it's definitely a feature. Like it's, yeah. It loads everything as a new rule. You just have to be aware of that in the language. Oh, you yeah, the elif. Yeah, yeah. Look, you're not wrong, Matt. It is next question time. All right, so we're halfway through because there's only eight questions in this round. So, question five: Who invented the first, or who implemented the first compiler? Now. By who do you mean person company? It's definitely a person. Um, yeah. <laughs> Depending on how like, you'll see, or see, see, you got an answer to you? Dude. Then I'll stop giving, I won't give any hints then. I can't see what your answer is, I don't know if it's correct. <laughs> no, you came up with one, so. It's the deal. I just did Yeah, right. Yeah, we just try Yeah, throw one guess in. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather if no one did. I'm not a fan of Ruby. <laughs> but it's. What are the C sharp questions? Huh? C questions? I don't think I've got any C sharp questions this year. Yeah. All right. How are we going with that one? Ready to move on? You've all made your random guess. Put down Bill Gates. Yeah. Everyone's put down Bill Gates. Great. Uh, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, yeah, he definitely was not a programmer. Yeah. Uh, cool. So, let's go to question six. Big yellow diamond. Well, trapezium. 
Which layer of the seven layer OSI model is responsible for TCP and UDP traffic? So, second TCP question for those of you who love TCP questions. Yeah. For those of you who don't, you can just cry in modern programmer. You've got a one in seven chance of getting this right, you know? You just guess. <laughs> All right. Dom. So I'm happy with either either the number or the name. So you can guess any number between one and seven, or name a layer that fits into the one to seven layer. Because I wouldn't know either way. So <laughs> if I don't didn't have written down an answer sheet, I wouldn't know the answer. But that's true for almost all the questions. So. <laughs> All right. I'm going to keep us moving just so that we can hit that pizza dime. All righty. So. Second last question, the penultimate question of round two is which of these is not a top level domain name? Is it A dot Holden, B dot Ford, C dot Mini, or D dot Bentley? Again. <laughs> Just so Cole can't complain, I fixed it. <laughs> Hmm? Uh, yeah, what have, no, that horse is definitely a top level domain name. Um, what do I have? I had, it might have been animals. I did drinks before that, so I did dot tea, dot coffee, dot beer, and dot wine. Um, yeah, try and come, I, did, I think I did one about what's the dot TV domain for last year. Pardon? What? Dot TV, yeah, it's for Tivula. Yeah, good, good remembering. <laughs> I don't know how you got it right. I don't know why. That's the whole point of this game, right? <laughs> it's like, I don't know why I know this, but you've got to believe me. It's Tivula. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, as we head towards 8.30, let's go on to question eight, the last question of this round. Here's another tough one for you. Another history question, but it is multiple choice, so you can get it right. Who is responsible for the creation of cookies? This is the person you can blame for all of those little banners. Is it Mark Andreessen, Jim Clark, Cameron Kaiser, or Lou Montulli? He is responsible for the destruction of cookies. He has never made a cookie in his life. The Swedish chef? I think he only makes meatballs. 
Yeah. This is the person you can blame for all those banners that annoy you every day. I hear you guessing based on the letters. I spent so long stressing over have I got too many A's, too many B's? I've got to go to my wife, like, I've got this question, this question, this question. They're all A's. Is that okay? It, it, no. Because no one does. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's it. No one knows. But I know. <laughs> I'm like, oh, too easy. So I didn't make sure I went through and jumbled them all up. So there was a good smattering of all the letters. So. Yeah. Um, I will. They are all associated with computer things. They are all important people in the history of the internet. Okay. I have no idea who they are. <laughs> oh, yeah. So the hard thing is, I've got to try and work out because some people do know things. Like John points out, he knows what the .tv domain stands for. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's uh, give you one last run through of all the questions and we can call it round two over. So, round one was Tommel. We all got an answer for Tommel. Round two was the at commands. Good luck with that. How many do you have to get back to get I'll mark them like out of bits and then I'll work out who wins. If someone gets all 14 right, then. We get 14 points. Well, yeah, maybe. It's like, I think that's a pretty hard question, honestly. All right. Hide.com used to be known as something. Ruby code. Everyone had a guess of what the Ruby code does? <laughs> or have you just all cried in JavaScript? Is that what you've done? Cried in typed language? Who invented the compiler? Or who implemented the compiler? If you haven't got an answer for that one, I probably gave you a little bit of a hint in my previous slide answer sheet, but you know, at least about the gender. So which layer of the seven layer OSI model is responsible for UDP traffic? And finally, oh, not finally, the top level domain name, which of these is not a top level domain name. So three of them are top level domain names. And lastly, who is the cookie monster? <laughs> All right, throw it up. Let's um, have a quick answer of these, and then we will. I'll run out for pizza. Yeah. yeah. We, we accept our fate. <laughs> How did you do? Uh, CSS selectors are uh, not something I think about much in cybersecurity. <laughs> yeah. This is a, the podcast we both listen to. I always think they're pretty accurate with their statements that XSS is a problem, but it's not not on the same level as Log4J, right? Yeah. All right, thank you. Got the same names. Came for the friends. <laughs> this is why you get the answer sheet back at the end. You can tear it up. <laughs> All right. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
All right. Well done, everyone. This was a this is a really close round in the end. Very close, isn't it? So, what does Tom will stand for? It is Tom's obvious minimal language. Stupid Tom. No one likes him. Tell him to go home. Uh, so, CSS commands. You can find all of them down here on the CSS at rule and the end. But we have at char set at color profile, at counter style, at document, at font face, at, well, there's all the rest of them, at font feature values, at import, at keyframes, at media, at namespace, at page, at property, at supports, at viewport. Oh, yeah, see, most of the people. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't do that, man. All right. <laughs> so, hide.com used to be called developer auction. And I put this in here just because I thought that sounded bloody creepy. I don't want to go and work. I don't want to go like say, here, hire me a developer auction. It's like a slave market. I don't like it. I guess that's why I changed it. All right. You pretty much all got this one right. It's A to Z, all in uppercase. Did we get bonus points for uppercase? Did anyone get uppercase there? Uh, yeah, a couple of people got uppercase. Some of you all got lowercase. <laughs> The winner actually put lowercase down for this one, so you probably know who it is now, because the only one you put down lowercase, but you got just enough to get you over the line despite that. So, who invented the first compiler? A couple of you got it right. It is Grace Hopper, or Rear Admiral Grace Brewster Murray Hopper, if you want to use her full name. You mean NASA? Hmm? You put NASA lady, but she worked for the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I always like to include this question every year as well because she walked into that room and said to these bunch of old white guys, said, you know what? I don't think in hex. I think in words. We should be writing computer programs. They laughed out of the room. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. That's not going to work. Confusion is never going to work like that. We're always going to be writing hex. You're never going to write English-like language like Ruby or JavaScript or TypeScript. I'm going to write this stupid thing. But she came in, did it. And now we have these wonderful languages that we can write amazing systems in. So you have this lady to thank for that. So which layer is responsible for this? It is the transport layer or layer four, not the transfer layer. That's somebody wrote down. It's close. Close. OSI was a mistake. <laughs> It may be a mistake, but it's still factual. Yes. <laughs> All right. And no top level domain name. Pretty much everyone got this right. Holden, the only one that is not still a car company. Uh, or not still making cars, I think. Did Holden stop making cars entirely or just in Australia? They make the No. Cool. Anyway, yeah. Ford, Bentley, Mini, all top level domain names. Holden, not. And lastly, the 
person who created cookies was Lou Matuli. Now you've got Mark Andreessen, he created the Mosaic browser. Um, what are the other ones? Where'd you say, um, he's from what? Yeah. Uh, so Jim H. Clark or James H. Clark. What I put him in there for? He he created Netscape. And uh, yeah. And someone can look up what Cameron Kaiser did. Maybe he didn't do anything. I don't know. All right. Anyway, the winning team. Oh, Sneak through. Coming up in all the greats. Yeah. <laughs> As one might say, great work. Oh. Hey guys, here's, we... here's your collection of coffee vouchers. There is a collection in there so you can share them out between the team. Thank you. Um, the one with no name on it is for suspension. I didn't. Oh. Ah, I, I'll have the, the coffee no name suspension, I guess. Well, yeah. All right, um, cool. So. <laughs> uh, you didn't sponsor the prizes. The sponsor, the prize was sponsored by the Newcastle Coders Group, which means really by Staffy. So, <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'm going to go and try and work out how to grab these pieces from the road. I'll be back soon. Is it walking distance or should I drive? Yeah, that's a good yeah. point. That is. <laughs> all of these are good points. Okay. Uh, if you want, um, sure. So they're under Clay Th under Thomas. He, uh, the name of the place is. Um, I'm not sure. It's on my, let me find the laptop. It's on the laptop. Um, yeah. Uh, it's Nasa Madre. Yeah, it's just up the road. So, one railway street, William. So, Nasa Madre. Um, okay. So, we're down here. Just on the end there. Yeah. 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 Cool. Do you have any problems? Give me a bell. But, other than that, thanks for going to get those guys. All right. Okay, grab a drink. They've crippled your team. Half your team's is up and left you. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. um, so I don't think I recognize half of you. I'm Stephen. Good day, Stephen. I've talked to you online. <laughs> yeah, I have. And for, hmm? Caleb? Yeah, Oh, yeah, that's, that's good. First time here, it doesn't have to be the last time. Hopefully not. <laughs> so what are the two of you do? Developers around town or your students or? Yeah. Student? Yeah. Oh, cool. And I have my own company. Oh, excellent. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So what year are you in? You you're done or you still going? Uh, got a year. Last maybe a year ago, so I was like studying part time. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. I can. Yeah, I found out the other day that at last year do summer internships, so between December and January, December and February. So if you've got another Christmas period to go, you should work out how to apply for it. So uh, which internship? Was uh, at last year. So. Did you work at that? Yeah. I'm just yeah. interested. I didn't say in the intro, because I, technically if I'm going to do a public talk, I'm meant to say, I'm going to tell work, and I didn't realize that until like two days ago, so they don't know. I told people, but I haven't like officially told them. I'm in one called media, so deal with uploading and downloading files, videos, everything. And it's all in the cloud experience, so if you're doing off friend stuff, we aren't doing that, but cloud experience, we're doing all the media bits and pieces.
One of the many Sinigo streams. <laughs> We're working with um, Justin Gallagher. Uh, he's, uh, he's a really cool guy. He's, he was the, one of the first product guys at Trello. Okay. He's now at YCM. Yeah. He's, I think he's one of our nicest six, but does for two, two, one day a fortnight. So cool. So yeah, <laughs> I've got nothing to do with it. Like, all that. He's all a long way away from me. Like, yeah, it's, of course. It's amazing. Like, Young May started recently, and I have not. I have nothing to do with it. It's just what are we doing? Like, sort of about eight thousand people now. I'm growing about two hundred a month. They were the other day, like this week. They were trying to break one of their internal records into two thousand interviews. <laughs> In a week? Well, uh, there's this company, oh, Gojek. Gojek, they do like, they're like an Uber version. He's just no longer there. He's in the start of Yeah. This company was growing so quickly. Yeah. I remember when I was first there, they had a hiring line. Now we're all in the next one. Oh, dear. What are you doing with the new Sometimes we made up and talk to the next one. Oh, okay. So, not Australian. Not Australian. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was thinking, where were you aware of that? I can't imagine like, you lugging all the motorcycle gear around in the hope that maybe I need to go somewhere. <laughs> yes, a little helmet, a little hand jump on the back. Could, could be useful in all ways. Very, very hard to get on there. Yeah, there, there is a service in Brisbane or Sydney that you get on the back. Which one has the most traffic to the airport? How many is it? It's only guess. Sydney's all right. I think it's Melbourne, actually. Melbourne, you can get I think there's a service you can get on the back of the airport. Only in Melbourne Airport has a destination. Who's the phone company? <laughs> That's useful. I mean, there's a train station. Yeah, but it's not used. I don't know if they can do that. They, they put it there in set of plant, like forward thinking, in the east train. They'd be able to get public transport. They never have to do it. Wow. Nice. Now they just got Skybus. No, yeah. no, Brisbane. That's Brisbane, isn't it? Yes. Brisbane's got the no, train. Yeah, yeah, it's got one. They can't like this elevated rail. Yeah. <laughs> I was just about to come. Oh, okay. Let's um. All right, team. Fantastic work. Thank you for getting through two rounds so far. Cam and Stuart have gone to try and rescue pizzas, leaving our first round team null slice, sliced down to size. So let's get into round three. Don't worry, no questions about 14 different CSS things in this round. All right, let's start with PHP though. <laughs> so PHP has weird inconsistencies in the way its functions are named. Can anyone tell me why? <laughs> yeah, it's not quite enough of an answer. <laughs> Go tell me what it's due to something about how the language was originally implemented. In the early days, these things end up with these funny names where you know some things are snake case, some are not any sort of case, some have got numbers. Yeah. <laughs>
Hey. Hey, Clay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so the bad news is the guy didn't actually have enough dough to make pizza, and he was trying to ring to tell you that he wasn't making the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, uh, Good old sauce if anyone's veg over it. I guess that's <laughs> yeah, probably what we're left with, right? Oh, man. Right. Okay, just quickly. Is anybody a vegetarian? No vegetarians? Because basically, the pizza shop ran out of pizza dough. <laughs> so they couldn't make a pizza. Like, no pizza at all? No pizza at all. So Cameron's worrying about just like going for a drive through at the KFC. Yeah. That, that's what I want. KFC for everyone. All right. That's a yes. Just <laughs> come across in KFC, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks, man. <laughs> so, <dude. laughs> Make a base out of salami. Yeah. Can you do it? Apparently, they made, they made no pizza. <laughs> I don't know. So Domino's is dead. <laughs> pizza. It's like a denial of pizza. Yeah. And the meat also. Yeah. On the crunch in the pizza. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. So you've all worked out what's wrong with PHP. You're not going to fix it, right? Many years. All right. Cool. Yeah, I'm hearing PHP will be fixed tomorrow. Oh, no. Oh, what have I done? Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, so now if anyone gets that question wrong. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, not looking at the answers. Question two. I'm glad I got the animations right. At least we didn't find out too early. So, question two. Can you expand these numeronyms? So, there's only 11 of them. Yeah. I18n, A11y, L10n, M17n, C14n. Y2K38, V12N, P13N, I14Y, and A16Z, A16Z. Fun, fun little answer. I hate these. I think they're stupid, and you shouldn't use them. I hate them. <laughs> I hate them so much. But they are a thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. How are you going? 11 of them. Cut them all down. All right, guys. How are you going? Don't be afraid to write down the, the thing so you can work it out as the other ones go along. I thought it would just like kind of like a number plate thing, you know, like you'd substitute. Uh, don't be afraid to write down the, the little contractions as well if you want to hang on to them for the time in the next rounds. Young. I didn't even know these were called a pneumonium the other day. I don't, I don't like it. I had a better name for them. Contractinium, I wanted to call them. But. Let's keep shifting on through. So, next up, JavaScript question. What is this log? So you got console.log, square bracket, ellipsis, string of poop emoji, smiley emoji, feet emoji, family emoji, close string, close bracket, dot length. So it's either going to give you an, a 4, a 5, an 8, a 10, or an error. Yeah, TypeScript, JavaScript, it's valid in both.
Well, probably gives you an indication it's what, not the right answer then, right? Doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. As has been pointed out to me, there is no E on the sheet, and the, I'll take it out. There is no error. It's definitely not going to throw an error. Uh, we have a question. The uh, number of arguments on our question sheet is different. Than yeah, the yeah. There's no E on the question sheet, so I'm giving you that bit for free. It's not error. Ah, okay. <laughs> it will log. It will compile. It will run. It's all valid. JavaScript is stupid. All right, give you 20 more seconds. Go for a guess or take the time to have a guess at some of those new meronyms. All right, question four. What did FAX.js turn into? It's another one for you bizarre history people. It's a multiple choice, don't worry, I wouldn't give you that one completely. It could be Vue, it could be React, it could be Svelte, it could be Ember, or it could be Angular. One of these was originally known as FAX.js, and then later got renamed into what I guess they assumed was a more marketable name. If there's a spelling mistake, that doesn't count the question out. <laughs> That's just I am not fantastic at spelling, and I've never used felt. Twenty percent chance if you just guess it randomly. Yeah, I think there's a bit of a 
Alrighty, so you all worked out what fax is? Sure. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so, question five, security question. Is security like this one? Uh, what was the first computer virus? Also a history question. Uh, yeah, Stuxnet, Reaper, Melissa, or Creeper? Microsoft. Microsoft, no, it's not a virus, it's just a monopoly. <laughs> Yeah, it's not self propagating though. Yeah, New Zealand's <laughs> being forgotten. Yeah. Australia's being split. Yeah, you have to complain to Google about that. Yeah. Chris, capitals. Yeah, you have to blame whatever Google slide template I stole it out of. Uh, <laughs> Pardon? Is this the font from Archer? I don't know, it's the font that I took off. No, it was in the slide deck. It was in the in the um, template. Some cartoon template that I found. Yeah. I don't know, I haven't watched Archer, so I'm okay. I only start watching like two weeks ago. Yeah, it's one of those ones. People say it's really good. Uh, people say it for years and eventually I was like, oh, I'll give it a go. Maybe over Christmas. What? Maybe over Christmas. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's coming to the time of year. There's so much to watch. How are we going? What's the thing in the color That's the Bluetooth microphone for the live stream. So everyone can hear me chew. That's what it is. Now, feed's going to be going viral for a wholly different reason. All right, so question six. Elon Musk has more followers on Twitter than Jack Dorsey, but how many more? Jack Dorsey was the founder of Twitter. Yeah, now, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the current production version of the last time is pretty rough. <laughs> it's good, it's good, it's good. I know, you showed me a good one, but I went looking for it, like steal the own graphics, and I was like, this isn't the production version I saw. It's just a pink page. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of work. No, the new one's looking good. I like it. I think I said that.
<laughs> so, one of these people tries to run a company about um, blockchain, and one of them just influences the blockchain price by turning up. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I saw you did something to influence the price the other day. <laughs> oh. Well done. So is that, is that a pizza as well? And a pizza. <laughs> and a pizza. One pizza. One pizza. <laughs> One pizza. <laughs> That's all the pizza dude has. <laughs> I feel, yeah. 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 Pizza place yeah. right yeah. Uh, I feel like they could have, like, you reckon they tried to call me? I, I know he called me earlier and got through. Yeah, he said, um, yeah, I'm just going to do a voicemail. All right, mate, he may well have. Yeah, use that box and put the chips in it, maybe. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, good plan. Let's do that. If they couldn't, um, I asked for three buckets and they said it was like YouTube. <laughs> That's just tonight, right? <laughs> I think it was a bit no, I think we cleaned them out. Probably. It was a big line through the drive through. Oh. Oh. Poor guys. I hope there's probably a whole bunch of people who were like together like freakishly quickly and then still apologize for like I was like No, you didn't drive it. You well. <laughs> done really well. You didn't try and make pizza with better. Does anyone love corn? It's like, show the wares, we have corn. <laughs> KFC does corn. No, this is the pizza place. It's like, here, like, we couldn't give you 11 pizzas, so you have one pizza and a bunch of corn. But he did give us that for free. And he said, if we ever run another event, call him, he'll give us some more pizzas for free. <laughs> yeah, he said, actually, yeah, just do it. If you, if you mention your name, he'll give us free pizzas. That's what he says. What was the name of How long can we milk this for? <laughs> how many free pizzas? All right. <laughs> Well, yeah, come up and grab yourself some food, another beer, and then we'll get back into the more questions. Well done, food gatherers. <laughs> yeah. Did you get another round in? Oh, uh, we're halfway through round three. <laughs> An Elon Musk question. Yeah. How many more Twitter followers does he have than Jack Dorsey? Good question. Yeah. <laughs> The last. All right. <laughs> Have a chat to Cam about what's going on with money now. <laughs> this is all simple, then it's not. Yeah. 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 Well, I'll... I have never had this much trouble getting a pizza. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, yeah, I'll tell people this tomorrow at work. <laughs> a story. He'll have a thing in his account so he spent as much money. So yeah. I can't imagine that much. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I just can't believe it. It's a pizza place right now. <laughs> well, it is a sourdough pizza place, so I guess the dough process takes a while, but. It's like a Mexican pizza? <laughs> it's got corn on it. Oh, corn and bacon. It's classic, okay. a classic combination. I get my money's worth. Oh, God, all right. I guess I'm getting this. Whatever yeah. I've done to that. I murdered that pizza terribly. Oh, corn and bacon pizza. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way. <laughs> uh, plates over there. <laughs> corn and bacon. Yeah. Corn and bacon. Mm. It's not the worst pizza I've had. <laughs> <laughs> So did you read through the NFT stuff the other day? NFT? 
Uh, that was a big kerfuffle at Alassian about NFTs. You know, missed it? No. Oh, yeah, it's... oh, you mean the incident? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, I did read about it. <laughs> That was pretty bad. They were saying that they haven't had one like for like a year or two. Feed me insider mm. information so I know when to buy stock. <laughs> Don't buy it now. <laughs> well, I was just going, Not right now. The price has just gone down, hasn't it? The price has gone down. Like, that's probably good. The day I joined, I was like, that's probably good for you. Wow. That's, that's what you want. <laughs> that was no. a good rush. It's like it gets like converted into units that yeah. they're drawing and then it crashed. So. Well, you, I, I got converted into units at the day, like a few months after I joined. A couple months after I joined. Yeah. And the price has gone way up, yeah. so I get less so I, no, so I get less stock. Because they give me, you know, X thousand dollars worth of stock. That's funny. And so I get, I get less. You'll get more as a result of the price going down. Uh, the same thing, the same thing, but at least, at least, you know, your stock crashed, right? When you joined, when I joined, an airplane crashed and the stock crashed. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you working now? Boeing. Hmm? Boeing. Yeah. yeah. That's good for you. Yeah, because it means you'll get more, more stock. Yeah, but if you're converted into okay. units, but yeah. on the day you join, you don't know? I, I think it's after you join, but yeah, you want the stock to be as low as you can when you join, and then yeah. So if you get yeah, yeah. you so get I joined, which is high, and then it went down. Oh, okay. oh. Yeah. yeah, I think my, I so. Meant. Mine got allocated about a month after, so yeah. so you're probably all right. You're probably actually still good. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You've got to wait a few years anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I've got to wait a year for it to yeah, so, to the first lot to best. But it gets def it gets defined earlier. Like they work out how much stock you get each year right at the start. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, so I think you're okay because it'll mine got worked out like a month after I so. started. Have you got the email telling you what your so what's, the, what's the what's the price the day you joined? Was it about four hundred or? I'm not sure. It was just, after I joined, it just went straight through the roof. Like there was this yeah, day where it went. Good, right? No, the other way around. Chicken. Because you want because I didn't think mine didn't my schedule didn't get set until about a month in. Oh really? Have you have you got the email telling you what your schedule is? No. Yes, well, you said your schedule hasn't been set yet. So you're right. So you you're still in the good part. You wanted to keep going down. You're like just just tell everyone like Mike kind of broke his dickhead. <laughs> we don't like him. Stop screwing up. Yeah. Mergers, yeah. Do octopus mergers. Yeah. Oh, we have to delay our release. Back. Look, Scott's turned up. He's got a beard. He's obviously a serial killer. We don't want that. Yeah. Did you see that video that time. they were addressing, like, <laughs> <laughs> behavior? The culture stuff, yeah. Culture. I've been working with that girl. <laughs> the girl, like, the, the you know, free girl. What? She's been asking, for, like, she's been in our support channel a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> she works on Jira Mobile. They're talking about you want it to be as low as you can. Then, once you're all locked in, you're Yeah, but as I said, is that I, when I joined, the day I joined, it was high, and then it went down. So. Oh, right. Yeah, but I think you... these people didn't die. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when I joined. Did you join as a, <laughs> did you join as a QA tester or as a, a dev? Oh, dev. Yeah. So now you're doing QA at the greater. But... Oh? Well, you didn't curate the greater, weren't you? No, oh, it was QA, Oracle. Oracle. Yeah, kind of sounds the same if you slur it a bit. <laughs> greater, Oracle. Gorica. 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 So it could be worse. It could be worse, exactly. And it's a plan in crash. Yeah. But I made, I made double my money. Why like that? Because I managed to hit the bottom of the peak, oh, the valley, right, okay. and then it jumped back up. No, oh, so Boeing must give you shares. No, I, I just buy it. Okay. It's <laughs> like Boeing's a big, Boeing's a big company, and like that plane crash is just temporary. <laughs> <laughs> well, imagine they survived or not. <laughs> All right. It's similar to how I made Alright. <laughs> Alright, all. Let's keep going. We don't want to be here till midnight. Um we've got an hour and a half to go. So we'll keep pushing through. So
Question seven. Which protocol brought down Facebook earlier this year? <laughs> no, no, that doesn't bring them down. That apparently makes them more money. Uh, I nearly got that program to teach. Technically, technically wait, are you... Yeah. Protocol. How deep do you want to go in this? Sorry. Yeah. Uh, well, there were multiple problems with this. <laughs> there was one big one, one term that no one had really ever heard in right. the mainstream media. Yeah. Yeah. But all of a sudden, people like your mum knew about this thing that... Yeah, all the chips are gone. Okay, I'll just tip that. Uh, um, that's all right, I'll chicken. Chicken's good. I had a pizza. Was there a bit of porn left in the chicken and corn cookies box? Yeah, yeah, tons. Oh, and underneath the serviettes. So I forgot to mention, underneath the serviettes there, there is a ton of stickers. New ones, old ones. If you're interested in stickers for your laptop, I have a collection here that you're free to browse through. If you want to know... You know, if you want people to know that that's out of scope, said no hacker ever. It's a nice shiny sticky when you lights off, so people know you know what you're talking about. Hmm? We did. All right, so you all know what brought down Facebook? And it was Facebook. It wasn't better at this time. It was Facebook. All right, question eight. Cloudflare Workers does not support one of these runtimes and it doesn't list it on their website. So one of these runtimes is not listed on the Cloudflare Workers website as being supported. Now, which runtime is not listed? Got a guess? Taking a guess at that one? You're drinking private beers, are you? Pardon? You're drinking private beers, are you? No, I don't drink beer. <laughs> I saw all the super drives here. I'm like, oh. Oh, oh yeah, that was, that was out of there. Yeah, well, I think we'll probably have beer left to refill the fridge. <laughs> Alrighty. We've all taken a guess at that one, have we? Let's go to question nine. All right. What product is or was this the mascot for? I'm a big fan. Hmm? <laughs> it's, it's not for us, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This this is not a galah. <laughs> I'll give Cole will give you that one for free. This is not the <laughs> not the galah cyber logo. Yeah. All right, let's continue on into the last question of round three. This year, a certain state's governor went ham on journalists for finding social security, yeah, social security details in a website. Uh, showing off the F12 was the ultimate hack at all. Which state was this governor of? So for those of you who don't know, a reporter found by pressing F12, he could find the social security details of assorted teachers and educators in this particular state. And when he responsibly disclosed this, he said, hey, yo, this thing, which turns out had been found previously in penetration testing reports, but obviously was out of scope. <laughs> when he reported this, instead of saying, yo, cool, we'll fix that, what he said was, that's going to cost $50,000 to not put that in the HTML. It was just, it was put in the HTML and then just hidden with CSS, right? It was right there. And said, oh, it's going to cost $50,000, we can't afford to do that. Instead of doing that, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get up on stage and I'm going to say, I'm sending the police force of my state against this guy. You can imagine that that went across real well on the internet. <laughs> People thought he was a real champion. Real champion. Yeah, and so it's this guy here. Is he in jail? No, he's, the he's still the governor of this state. <laughs> The no, the journalist. So is the question... The Which state? The governor? Name of the state, name of the state. state. Yeah, state. not the name of the governor. Uh, <laughs> hey, one in 50 chance of the police. 50? Well, yeah. 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 Uh, this, this is All right. All right. <laughs> 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 
So I want to know, does anyone know what hug ops is? Or am I the only person who's heard that term? What is it? Hug ops. Hug ops. So no. I've got these ones here. Yeah. Why are there any RM ones? Because well, I haven't been to a conference in years. <laughs> That's probably not appropriate in class. Yeah, so hug ops is a, it's a thing people say on Twitter when somebody sites down. So your site's down, oh. rather than saying, oh, AWS issue, they are flat. Yeah, they are flat. yeah, yeah. Anything, <laughs> anything in the box is on the table. Right. Yeah, that was from that conference you held, that one time, you know. One time the one time, go. yeah, we're going to do another one, and then every time we do it, we're and do still it. going to do another yeah. one eventually. <laughs> yeah, the world gets in the way. <laughs> it's like, oh, no, actually, you know what's fun? COVID. Wait. Never do SMS. Oh. <laughs> That's really over. That's big. Alrighty, can I grab all of your answer sheets and I will get to marking. Alright, are you done? Are you, oh, whoop. Whoop. Good. Did you get all the new renews? Alright. Alright, what do you got? Have, have you won? Did you win? No? Oh, all the years came here, we won. <laughs> you won, you just didn't get them all right, right? <laughs> we've, we've got, we've got, like, come on. Oh, I can see. Some of them are pretty close to right. <laughs> pretty close? What is that? Is that, oh. is that you can't spell? Oh. Well, you got, yeah. Well, like, year, 32, year 238 will probably get you the right answer. Unless somebody has the word problem written after it. Uh, you guys still going? Uh, write something down. Uh, I'll come back to you. Let's look back. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. You've got answers. You've got answers. I've got questions. Why do you All right. Did you win? It's a quick key question. No, you don't reckon you won? All right. All right. Zoom through. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll give you that one. There's not a single No. Can no. Yeah. Virtualization. 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 Children. All right, cool. Um, Thanks, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna give tell Cole to talk to you about the food. You guys can work out whether you want what you want to do about money between the two of you. He was meant to be sponsoring it, but you can you can find out between the two of you who wants to pay for it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, heaps for doing that. Though. No worries. Yeah, and thanks for turning up. We really appreciate it. Yeah, no, thanks for putting it on. Yeah. Effort, so. Yeah, we'll talk to you next year. We'll get some get meetups going properly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good luck, man. Um, let's get this over here. Let's move on. We have international version. What's up?
Creeper C ten DNS or educate five and five and five and five and five and five DVDC. Missouri. Missouri, good work. One, two, eight. Nine. No slice. Specialization. Three. Gray, okay. Still. Yeah, <laughs> Your name is getting more accurate. You know that, right? Kamea, come on, come. Is it Kamehameha? Like Dragon Ball Z thing, or? Yep, same thing. Okay. Same thing, but found it. Careful fingers. All right, round three. Good stuff. Thank you, team. So, PHP, the reason behind its name is that to start with, they were hashed by string length. So all the names had by string length, so they had to have different names, different lengths. So that's where you get the weird length, weird names, the weird capitalization, not capitalization, trying to find different ways to fit them into the bucket before they write on something better, because it was never meant to be a language. Just some guy making his making a way to make his personal homepage. So the numeronyms, we've got internationalization. Ah, you said American. <laughs> yeah. This is the, the thing I copied him out of. 
accessibility, localization, multinationalization, canonicalization, yes. the year 2038 problem, I put two. <laughs> Yeah, 2038 this problem. Is one error. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Virtualization, personalization, interoperability, and Andreessen Horowitz, which somebody actually got. That was the. Yeah. Who got that? Null slice. All right, so this log's 10. And that's because. The two of these characters in here are actually two characters. So these last two are not a single character. While they display as a single character, they actually have two values. So when you use the spread operator to split the string into an array, it becomes, yeah, it be, so the spread operator in front of a string inside an array bracket will spread that string into an array, and now you have an array of characters. The thing is, these two are actually two characters each, so they're four characters. And it makes 10. Uh, it does make 10. Maybe, maybe one of them, maybe two of them. Are, right. Anyway, maybe three of them are two characters. Just, just yeah. open it and just run it and see how it goes. Go, go for it. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, so Fax.js became React. Yeah, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't get a ticket. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really? Oh, the question's in the wrong place. Oh. Hold on. Wait, hmm? what? Order? Yeah, this one, right? And three, V React. Yeah, I should have got you there. Yeah. Yeah, so what did you get a ticket? Yeah, all right. <laughs> what, does that, what does that give you? That, oh, it's probably going to, it's going to make things hard as well. No, I'm going to need the random name generator. <laughs> uh, we don't want to win here. Uh, tell me how many are they coming to the house? How many are they great? Uh, we'll see. So maybe I've made other mistakes. So Creeper. So the interesting point here, a lot of people put Reaper. Reaper was actually made to remove Creeper. It's, yeah. One was the first antivirus, but it was also a virus. Like it was spread the same way in order to remove it. So work 10 times per... Gaussian mask. <laughs> Basically, it was brought down by BGP, the Border Gateway Protocol. Somebody said DNS. That wasn't enough. It's got to be more than that. It's also not DNS. <laughs> <laughs> the one time. It's always DNS, except that one time when it wasn't DNS. Everybody knows about that, what happened there, right? Did they end up having to take angle grinders to the doors in order to get in, in order to reset the mistake they made? when they took themselves off the internet completely. So this one, this is a trick question. You all got it wrong. Everyone got this one wrong. It is Node. Because Cloudflare Workers uses a web worker environment. So Rust, Kotlin, and C are all supported through WASM. Node, the Node runtime, is not supported on there. So you can't use functions out of that runtime. You have to use functions out of the browser APIs. Yeah. Because it took me so bloody long to encrypt something one day, <laughs> trying to work out why it wouldn't work. So I was convinced it was Node and didn't actually read the, the undocs. Yeah, so it's running in a web work environment. It's effectively a browser running on the edge, but doesn't give you access to the Node APIs. Wow. So now you know. And this, you may recognize this product better as Netscape. Oh, yeah, he's the original Netscape mascot. Is this little punching alligator. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And last time, last question. Abe Simpson would not accept this answer if I'll give it to you, because he'll be cold dead in his grave before he recognizes the state of Missouri. This is Missouri Governor Mike Parsons. All right. So Null Slice was the winner until I realized that I've made a mistake and have not marked up Kamehameha. 
I kind of feel like I should still give it to Null Slice because their name continues to be more accurate as this night goes on and we do not get any pizza. <laughs> and I did say that I would give you extra points if you made me laugh and the lack of pizza has made me laugh. They also are the ones who went and did get our dinner as such as it was. <laughs> Bought out. Um... Four and four pizza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Four or four, pizza not found, there is a null slice. All right, cool, so one round to go. Only a few questions left. Still plenty of drinks over there. Still plenty of, still plenty of salami up here. And goat's cheese, anyone eat goat's cheese? <laughs> yeah, it's a null slice now. They're all all right. All right. We're in the right directory. Yeah. All right. Me too. We're making that mistake twice. I try and learn from my mistakes at least for a little while. All right, everybody, good for drinks, for food. There's definitely still food up here. Mostly salami, but there's still food up here. <laughs> yeah, you can change. You'll notice there's nothing keeping you having the same name every round. You can make a new name this round because it is round four. It is the final round now. All right, we're going to start off with a question that you should all know the answer to. Once more, if you do not know the answer to this question, I will judge you once again. Write out the five solid principles. There's five of them. One starts with an S, one starts with an O, one starts with an L, one starts with an I, one starts with a D. Jack should know. I'm sure I dropped them into him over the last few years. He just works with my legacy. Jack is in the unique position where he gets to both work with my legacy and be my legacy. <laughs> so he can curse me every day. Yeah. Well, I'm sure he cursed me while I worked there. I would have. <laughs> yep, that's a good, good idea. Here you are, you've been, you've been designated cleaner. Please clean up your tables. Try and... Cheese, meat, but oh, no, I'm offering you. If you want anything, take anything home with you. All right, cool. So, take a seat. We've got our favorite round next. I know you're seeing all those numbers there, you know what's coming. So, next question. For these people, there's going to be a pretty fast fire round. 
Is it a developer or a serial killer? Developer or serial killer? <laughs> they're not all developers, they're not all serial killers, there is no one I'm classifying as both. <laughs> all right, yeah, <laughs> allegedly it will be relevant later on. <laughs> all right, next up. All right, got to switch, make a guess. All right, this guy. All right, I, I will name them all at the end so you will get to see who's who. All right, next. This fella. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This one. These are not scaling particularly well to this screen, which makes it even harder. This one. Did you put the ears on? Uh, yeah, I've got extra bits on the photo, so I can't make it too obvious. All right, this one. <laughs> All right, this fellow. <laughs> Right, I've, I've changed the background, so I've put them places that they don't belong, so... <laughs> Alright, this person. Alright, this one. All right, and then I think this is the last one. This one. All right. Developers or killers? That's it. <laughs> that depends. Apparently, if you hire Alwyn to work at Boeing, planes are going to crash. So maybe he's a killer. <laughs> All right, so another naming question. What is the name of the Golang Gopher? <laughs> is it Renee after the artist who made it? Is it Speedy because Gopher is so dang fast? Does it have no name? Is it just a Gopher? Is it Bill after Bill Murray and Groundhog Day? Is it Dave? I'm pretty sure it's Dave. <laughs> Too bad. Again. Hmm? Hmm? Ah, well, it could be E. This is what happens when I try and make things. Oh, you could write it down. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> because I made this answer sheet up late at night. I sort of got to the end of the day and went, oh, shit, I haven't made answer sheets. It's going to be a lot easier if I get people to write in a structured form. So we're writing this into the formula. Yeah, just write A, B, C, O, D, D, A, B, C, D, or E net down. Uh, gophers themselves aren't particularly fast, but Go is pretty fast. It's a nice language, apparently. I've never actually written a line of Go. In what? Caddyshack. I, I haven't seen Caddyshack. <laughs> well, that would have been a much better answer. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, I forgot to start the timer there, so that's going to be the time you get.
All right, question four. What is the maximum length of a variable can be in PHP? So the name of the variable. So I don't know how you define a variable in PHP, but in JavaScript you do const something, then the variable. What is the maximum length that, that something could be? Maximum length name of the variable. Did you, did you ever hit the limit? <laughs> Before you never wrote 256 character, character name, did you? So you don't know. I hope you didn't. I like long variable names, but 256, probably too long. Pardon? Yeah. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've written any PHP as well, so. Maybe. I can envision 20 characters being fine. In an IDE where you've got, yeah. You don't want to write it too many times, but constrained to somewhere. It could be meaningful. I don't know. I use an IDE to make sure I get all that stuff right. All right. Got an answer? Got an answer? Got an answer? All righty. Let's keep going into the next round. Question five. What is the expected H3 status code for the following scenarios in GraphQL? Your query resulted in a record being created. Your query returned page results. Your query couldn't be handled because it was rate limited. No item found for your query. Your query resulted in an error. It was handled by the runtime. Your query was handled by a teapot. Not a fan of GraphQL? All right, that's good. Got some advantages, got some disadvantages, it's just a thing. It could be the same as HTTP status code, the rest. All right. No idea. We're moving to it. Uh, so I'll put most of like all that back in my little box of tricks. Uh, yeah, so all that just... It's, it's, uh, yeah. Um, so food-wise, probably if anyone's going to eat it, they're willing, welcome to take it. Yeah, it looks like it. Wow. Yeah, throw that in the back. Let's see if I can hope I keep this cold enough for my wife will like it. Yeah. All right, that should be your time to guess your GraphQL bits. Into the next one. Question six. What is the Ruby on Rails technology for hot swapping pages and HTML without doing a full page render? <laughs> John is excited. He's like, I know the answer. I know this one. I know this one. I'm cleaning, but I'll come back. <laughs> you need to talk to Trent more, Jack. He knows this one right off the top of his head. Bam. No, Trent. Yeah, Jack's Jack's boss's boss would know the answer. He's a massive Rails fan. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. Continuing on, question seven. What are the colors in a Cat 5 cable? Is it blue, green, orange, and brown? Red, yellow, blue, and purple? Cyan, magenta, yellow, and black? Orange, red, white, and purple? It's one of the four of these things. Next up, question eight, another review question. Yes. Which of these is not, so not a reserved word in Ruby? Nil, not, null, or next? One of these is something you can assign to in Ruby. One of these, three of these aren't. So which is not a reserved word? Yeah, that's, it. that's empty, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Oh, sorry? They, they may well. I just don't know where it is. Question nine, which of these will get you out of VIM? Is it control X, control D, colon X, colon quid, control C, control C, control C, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. And the last one. That was the last question. Thank you all. Yeah. Well, so uh, last round I answer it to Mark, now go through the answers and then we can all go home. Nice. In the meantime, grab some <laughs> if you want any no the food's gone, so there are drinks here if you want to suck one last one down. <laughs> not solid. Not solid. We're so far away from solid that we just don't know. No. Single responsibility, open closed, blue scope substitution, interface segregation. Um, you got none. All right. All right. Can I grab your answers this round? Okay. Oh, you got the last one, right? You got the last one of the solid principles, right? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't remember single responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. 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 Oh.
Five can fulfill definitely. No. no. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. um, yes. Yes. Um, yes. Um, Okay. <laughs> 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 so, uh, no, Nearly. See, I see. One, two. <laughs> Uh, four. Kill one, kill one, kill one. So, Oh, bro. 
And camp for fans. Okay, we're done. Thank you, everyone. Oh, I'm, I'm glad somebody got that. <laughs> All right, so round four. The solid principles are single responsibility principle, open closed principle, this is called substitution principle, inversion, uh, interface segregation principle, and the inversion, dependency inversion principle. Yeah, apparently so. The mistake people always make there, if they remember them. What's going on here? All right. Yeah, that, that was the idea. So, Dennis Nielsen, killer. This is Charles Manson, definitely a killer. This is Troy Hunt. Oh, it looks like a It is. It's the cover of his new book. Oh, okay. <laughs> when he's a teenager. I was like, why is he so young looking? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is what it's called, Adam Kogan. Yeah. It's, yeah, put it there, because usually there's people from go to the Newcastle Coders group often. But in this case, it's just Matt. <laughs> um, this is... Mara Hindley, she was a killer. Yeah. This one? No one knows it? Grady Booch, inventor of the Booch method, part of the original UML spec, software developer. This is, what her name? It's Estevez Carranza. That's from the Chrome developer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely a killer. This is Jim Young. Software developer, one of the presenters on the Front End Happy Hour podcast. Fantastic podcast. <laughs> no, I was trying. I was trying to be on Meta. Like, is the office there? Yeah. This person using class components, using a live theme, no TypeScript. Plainly a serial killer. <laughs> yeah. This person is Mary Poffendike. He's a very famous historical developer. Did a lot of work with Agile early on. And this, of course, is John McAfee. And I'm calling him a developer. <laughs> now, I, yeah, I would not be surprised if he did murder people. <laughs> but he's a very strange man and, yeah, software developer. So the girl Lane Gopher has no name. It's just a gopher. PHP, you can make that very well name as long as you bloody well like. Please don't. Oh, is it really? Yeah, you can make it as long as you want. Yeah. GraphQL, everything's 200. It's always 200. Doesn't matter what situation. Yeah, you remember this. We're, we're moving to GraphQL, young man. You'll be dealing with it soon. You watch. Yeah, so everything's 200. It doesn't matter as long as the runtime can handle it, you'll get a 200 back. Yeah. Turbo links. Good work, Jono. Blue, green, orange, brown. 
Do any of you actually know this, or did you just guess? Finally, <laughs> null is not a reserved word in Ruby. <laughs> and you can get out using colon x. Colon x. Yeah. yeah. Colon colon x is that's shorthand for write and quit. So you can do colon wq or you can do colon x. Yeah. It doesn't matter how many times you hit control c, you're not getting out. If you type quid, that's money, not exit. Oh, I was thinking about the first character and just. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, everything I've seen is like yeah. 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 That's. Yeah. Yeah. So get out of. Go get out of insert mode. Yeah. And that's it. I didn't put a side with winners in. Once more, null slice has won. In repeat, yes. you got so oh, close, nice. Kempler fan. Oh, I, totally I, I reassessed the list so many times to see if I could make you win because you hadn't won. But you were so close. <laughs> Go out, buy coffee, buy cake, spend money in town. All right, thank you very much for coming. Without you, I'm just a weird man asking questions of a room. Hopefully, we'll see you all next year at in person meetups. Hopefully, they can happen. Thank you for coming out tonight with everything weird going on. Clean up after yourselves, make sure you're leaving everything in a better state than how you found it. If you want any soft drink, please take it out of the box, I don't want it. Suspension is on Beaumont Street, near the train station. Nice, hipster. Um, Beaumont Street, Hamilton. Hamilton, I'll take suspension. Yeah. Like, I trained there, like, like yeah. James Street, like yeah. around there, or? Uh, so it's the other end of James Street, so, uh, so after you've done Sword, yeah. walk down like, by coffee. So it's probably, so around... So it's near the train station. Yeah. I'm happy to take one back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I, I really don't mind. Why don't we go? Yeah. 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 I guess so. <laughs> I don't really want them, but I'll take them. <laughs> They're not much use to me now. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for turning up. Great. Thanks for coming out, even though the world is weird. Well, You've see you in office sometime. Hopefully. Yeah. Next time I'll be down, it'll be the end of February. We've got a, our quarterly team get together. February, look for a week. They're flying everyone in. I'll be the one. <laughs> are they all in? Are they all in Sydney or? Uh, most of them are in Sydney. One is in Sydney. Yeah. Oh, we'll try and organise to go down and see them. I don't know. I like going to see them, but. Yeah. I also don't have children to look after or anything else. <laughs> That's very true. You got it. Yeah. Yeah, I went down the other week and half the team couldn't make it in. Yeah. Kids or sickness or any of that sort of stuff. And... Where can you take a photo? Team photo. Yeah. Yeah, this is the, um, this is the photo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job. <laughs> oh, the press. See you, press. That was so good when I walked in there. Like, you know, I walked in these places, the press was just like, vouchers? Yeah, we got vouchers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, except for you should have some good some drop in espresso there. Oh, cool. no, you got you got drop in, so drop is in Wall's End. Wall's End. Oh, you know uh, Wall's End. I, I, I want those. You want like, those? Like I'm, I'm <laughs> in land. You can totally have Wall's End. Sweet. Okay. What are what are the? Uh, that's the press. The press are good. Press book house. So that's up near the university. Oh, on Hunt Street. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it'd be a bit, it's a bit of a walk from your work, but it's a. It's one spot. Everyone's got four. Do you want some, some of these? Yeah. 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 Let's mix them up.
I'll mix it up. Yeah, that's my favorite one in Wall's End. Are you, do you live out Wall's End, boy? Yeah, Camera Park. Yeah, it's not the same way. Yeah, I live in Maryland, so that's a place that I duck into occasionally. So I'm quite fond of their coffee. Thank you. All right. Well, the suspension's not far. Yeah. That's, yeah, sort of what I was thinking there. Still, if you want Yeah. I hope you uh, yep. I hope you've enjoyed all the beers and yeah, no worries. Thank you very much for coming along. Alright. I'm gonna listen to trips. Oh, well, off easier. Alright. So you're, you're gonna have six packs in the fridge. Yep. And all this. Oh, I might take one of the six packs. I'll take the I've got, there's two six packs over there I'm gonna take. I'll take one of them and I'll put all these just in here and I assume they'll get wrong. Yeah, I 